total treatment. Oh, and hey, look at us. Well, oh, that's not on. <laughs> Taika, what have you got for storing us with us? And are we going to uh, see Korga Meek again? Sorry, can you? Oh, okay. I see where this question's going. Um, is there sort of like a the ongoing relationship between Thor and Korg? Is there sort of like a thing that where they continue the, it's the, real love the friendship thunder. slash love? Yes. That they some thunder that they established in Ragnarok. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? That's the first time I've seen the uh, that, that that logo. That, that's brilliant. Whoa, love and Thor, thunder. love and thunder. Wow. Are you thunder? Or because that's right. There's nothing more powerful in the world. Then love and thunder. <laughs> and the combination. I dropped this microphone, but it's too expensive. So, Chris, where are we seeing Thor headed in this film? Because he was hurting a little bit at the last one. Uh, he's headed to 7 Eleven. He got a little, uh, little Netflix subscription. And uh, he's he's he may be on the couch, but but who knows? You know, I think Tiger's got something pretty. Who knows? Only I do special. because they haven't read the script. Because I've never seen the script. <laughs> he's refused to show it to us. Yeah. That makes my next question to Tessa a little awkward, since I don't know if you would know. But day one as King of Asgard, what would Valkyrie first change in New Asgard? Um, I think first of all. Uh, as king, as new king, she needs to find her queen. So that would be... <laughs> that would be her first order of business. She has some ideas. Uh, keep you posted. And then, uh, I don't know, what's cool about Asgard, you know, as it has already been mentioned, that Asgard is not a place but a people. So I think just reinvesting in her people and a cool thing is to create refuge for any person that might need it. That to me is the idea of a perfect Asgard. The kind of kingdom she'd want to rule over. So that's I think what she'll do. And then hopefully she'll hang out with love and thunder, which he is both to me. Create love. The love I feel for him gives me thunder. Yeah. All over. That's his wife. The thunder I feel. <laughs> so, Tyga, I know you love the comics. Is there any other particular storyline that you've pulled from? Um, yes. <laughs> so, there is, uh, the, when we were shooting Ragnarok, there was, I was reading uh, one storyline by, uh, by Jason Aaron <laughs> called The Mighty Thor. <laughs> and for those of you who know, that storyline it's incredible it's full of emotion and love and thunder and it introduces for the first time female Thor so for us there's only one person who could play that role only one and she's here I'm going to introduce her to you now. Please welcome to the stage, Natalie Portman! but this time holding the hammer. Feels pretty good. <laughs> I've always had a little hammer envy. So. <laughs> I, I got plenty of ha hammer envy as well. It's Captain America, there yourself, it's great. It's, it doesn't feel so It was really sad. I'm gonna go back to Netflix. <laughs> it's cool guys, it'll be at 7-Eleven. <laughs> First of all, awesome announcement. Super excited to see Jane as Thor. Thank you guys so much for coming up on stage and sharing all this. Thank you guys. Don't wait for your